Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Okay, and uh, I think we can start. So, welcome everyone at um, our webinars, webinar, um, uh, Korea as Cloud uh, Design for Science. Um, so, we want to present our Cloud Fair services funded by um, Okri. But also, we want to present ourselves uh, uh, as a cloud fair and as a, and our platform Creodias uh, in the context of both um, Okri project and the uh, cooperation with uh, uh, science, research, and education sector and uh, NRENS uh, representatives. Okay, so. Uh... Thank you, Michal, for introduction. My my name is uh, Jerzy Konarski, and I'm uh, I'm res responsible for uh, for Okra project. Uh, I have uh, my background in physical of atmosphere uh, and geophysics. I deal with lightning, so uh, I have also some uh, scientific uh, experience. And uh, together with Michal, we will uh, we will show you. Uh, our infrastructure and our vision of uh, participation into the Okre uh, project. Okay, so first we will uh, present briefly what is uh, what are we doing as a cloud pharaoh, uh, and what uh, what are um, what are our techni technological offering? Uh, what is our, our technological offering? We will introduce you what is the Creodias platform and uh, what's what capabilities we offer within this platform. Mm, we will show you some example how uh, you can use the 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 cloud infrastructure we offer, and um, we will also present you how in practice um, you can uh, familiarize with um, with Creodias. And at the end, we will also uh, present you um, how in practice uh, you can start using uh, and what is our offering uh, that you can use uh, for your uh, project and um, or or that can be interesting from, from your point of view. Okay. So to, to start, um, First of all, we offer uh, infrastructure as a service, mm, and um, we own entire uh, technological stack uh, we offer. So um, we build, we assemble the servers, we build the clouds on our own. Then we, at the same time, provide a, um, support for these services. We do the maintenance. We um, we do the um, sales as well, and we participate in many um, in many projects, uh, both research and development, um, in which we in which we develop um, cloud solution and we offer infrastructure solution for for many projects. We base uh, on open source materials. So uh, basically, the cloud is uh, managed by OpenStack uh, software, and the uh, big storage is uh, covered by Cephnet technology. It, they are both um, well-recognized open source uh, technologies, and um, and this is very important because it, it guarantees that uh, there is no vendor lock-in. So no matter whether whether what's the future of your project, whether you you use um, our infrastructure or we use infrastructure for, for some small research and development activity or for um, working uh, working project that is on production. Uh, it's all it's also we understand that it sometimes happened that um, you can change uh, the cloud, you can use other vendors, but uh, as long as it's an open stack, uh, it's very easy to um to no it, it's also we we are very supportive for the open open source technology we even contribute to 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 openstack and ceph so so this is in line with our let's say um uh, ideology 
of course we are connected to a giant network so so uh, as you're familiar that um, we have the direct access to um, to this academic network um, that it's very often needed for for different projects uh, our services are um, certified in terms of ISO 9001 and ISO 27001. Um, the entire infrastructure is located in Europe. We have uh, three data centers in Warsaw and uh, one in Germany, one in UK. Um, and uh, um, and uh, all our all entire company is based in located in Europe. Our headquarters in Warsaw. Um, so it's also important from the point of view that very often um, there are the secur security issues, whether um, we are totally compliant with EU law um, and the and standards. Our technical support is available uh, to help you. Um, main first line of support is available um, five days a week uh, from 8 to 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Our, from in case of any issues, we are available 24-7. And then, uh, last but not least, uh, in, the, in this case, we are cost efficient. So we have a flexible and transparent price list. Uh, we have a um, very clear uh, cost model. And uh, what's important, we are also very open to, to collaboration on different uh, levels so not only on the on the level of just you know take the service we provide and uh, we don't care no more what do you do we are very keen on what what to, what are you doing what are your projects how can we help you with 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 your projects and uh, we are very very often collaborating with some customers in terms of uh, different projects like uh, Mm, horizon calls or or uh, or special tenders okay so mm, this is briefly intro introduction how our credias platform uh, is constructed so basically mm, we have a platform the credias portal platform with uh, tools for earth observation basically credias platform was designed to be um, uh, to be operational and uh, to handle big amount of earth observation data so um, we own currently we hold 21 petabytes 21 petabytes of data of earth observation data from copernicus program and they are very smoothly integrated with um, um, with our cloud uh, repository so our user can use this eo data uh, in the same way like in situ data. So it's aligned with this uh, paradigm that bring processing to the data. So you you can use the um, cloud, uh, from your cloud environment, you can use the data as if, as if there were um, local data. Uh, so you don't need to additionally download this data and so on, you can use it uh, as it is and just uh, store the processing output. So basically, um, this is the EO archive. We also have, of course, um, we also have, of course, uh, the tools to to both um, um, search this data in, in terms of uh, uh, browsing, like uh, getting familiar, having a look at the, this data. It's called EO browser, and uh, EO finder to um, search the data and uh, to use the API um, protocol to, um, to have the access to the data. So, so it's all, it's all um, available with API. Um, and then of course, we've got the, the computes, the, the block storage, object storage, the networking uh, uh, rules, uh, backup rules uh, mm, and so on. Mm. Okay. So it, mm, maybe I will add here something. Uh, so uh, it is 
um, it is important that uh, if uh, if you are using this uh, this feature to uh, to process uh, big data on our infrastructure, uh, you you um, should be uh, always sure that that this is safe uh, and. Uh, and also this re realization of this paradigm uh, bring user to the processing uh, is very important for us in terms of safety so uh, if you are using our infrastructure uh, each user has its own space uh, and he chooses uh, whether to uh, share this uh, with other or keep it uh, private uh, and uh, so maybe to summarize uh, a little uh, what Michal said about the infrastructure and uh, important points to you to, to, uh, to learn from, uh, from our infrastructures are that we are based on uh, open, open source technology uh, and our, our services are accessible either by uh, API or graphical user interface. So, uh, they are both for uh, advanced uh, solutions, automated, uh, automated ones, uh, as well as uh, for individual users to uh, get familiar with the data and uh, and uh, the uh, and the platform itself. Uh, and uh, for the science, uh, it's uh, it's important to to have. Uh, their own uh, space on the, our infrastructure. So uh, there are separate uh, domains and uh, each, uh, each user has, uh, it has its own space that he can, uh, he can seamlessly uh, share with other uh, cooperators while uh, there is no possibility to access uh, any other areas uh, uh, on our uh, on our cloud cloud infrastructure without uh, without uh, without uh, dealing uh, permission so so it's uh, totally under your control and uh, what is important uh, and what uh, what is a key feature of our uh, platform is that uh, the platform is fully integrated with uh, data repository, Earth observation data. So, uh, so you have easy access to this data and you can, uh, you can uh, use the data process it uh, very efficiently and uh, in, in very, um, very fast way because they are just in the infrastructure that, that you're using. Okay, so here is a, um, here is a brief uh, uh, summary of our services. I, I wanted also just to uh, shortly uh, show you, um, to, to present you uh, these services because, uh, um, because it's, uh, it's always nice to, to see it in how it's working. So let me share my screen. We have a hands-on and practical demonstration of the tools in real time. Hopefully, everything okay. goes smooth. Can you see my screen? Yes, I think so. Um, so this is the Creo Diasa EU um, platform, and um, as I said, it's uh, it's done uh, by Cloud Ferro, so we, we we did it. It's designed for Earth observation data. Mm, but it's uh, the, the capabilities are rich uh, beyond the, the of observation data. You can use it for other purposes as well, of course. Okay. Mm, mm. So basically, we have these tools like your browser, your Finder, mm, Cloud Dashboard, and the Jupyter Hub. And I will go from one to another quickly. So this is the F observation browser in which you can have a look at the uh, Mm, at the Earth observation data, mm, and uh, you know to discover the data and uh, visualize the this data. Mm -hmm. okay, to zoom in.
Alright, to research it, okay. Okay, I need to zoom in and then I can visualize the data. Okay, so as you see, you can. This is just the tool to to discover how how these observations are there, and all this data that we are seeing there uh, can be uh, accessed via uh, EO Finder uh, with API, um, so API. Um, and in this case, I can either semantically or um, or um, or using let's say polygon selection, point selection choose some uh, some location and uh, and uh, look for the collection let's say um, sentinel data mm, and uh, okay i'll just have a look i can choose also the year of the data year of the observation and here i see uh, about 20000 products i mean this is just 10 of these 20000 products that are available and they are stored locally mm, each of these product is about 1 gigabyte uh, size and then i have the exact path where where this uh, product is available it's also uh, you can also call this uh, product from using uh, our api query so it's also uh, you can uh, you can uh, automate automate this kind of query so it's um, very useful for kind of for any kind of project okay this is the horizon dashboard to access the cloud environment and manage mm. Uh, uh, with so I was I am already logged in, but uh, you can very easily access them. And here you can just manage your environment. You can set up an instance, use the virtual machines, uh, set the floating IPs, uh, set up the networking rules, um, object storage, and uh, manage the other storages. Mm, and so on. And it's also uh, anything that you can see here. It's also possible to being automate, automated and uh, to, to be um, to be called via API. As you can hear, it's, it's also well described there. Okay, so, so let's go later on. And this is a Jupyter notebook that it's also, uh, as you could see, uh, we are in, we have also Jupyter Hub, which is available for free for any users on our uh, platform. It's available. It's available there. Mm. Uh, okay. So um, to go further, um, I don't want to go, go into the details, uh, but it's all available. I mean, the the introduction to Chrome is also available on our other webinar. So I don't want to duplicate this. I just wanted to show you this um, brief uh, ideas. Mm. Mm. Here you can find the, the data that are available on our um, on our uh, Creodias platform. As you see, it's 21 more than 21 petabytes of uh, locally available data. Here is the description. Um, I don't want to go into this into details in there because uh, but you are invited to um, to have a look on your own. I wanted also to, to show you briefly um, uh, our pricing plan. I think because um, this is uh, showing very well um, what's uh, um, what's uh, what's available, um, what flavors are available, what's our offering in practice. So as you see, we have there. Um, different flavors uh, with different uh, storage and capacity and uh, different uh, um, vCores and RAM um, and different pricing because we have uh, flexible per hour uh, pricing in which you can just pay for 
for for uh, hours that the resource has used uh, or you you can buy and you can order these virtual mach machines or resources for a fixed term contract in which you just decide okay i want this uh, virtual machine to be used on a more constant uh, manner in that case uh, in that case i order it for uh, one month for one year and then the pricing is much more attractive but uh, but and, and we don't count how how long is it used so whether you use it 24 7 or whether you use it five hour you pay a fixed uh, price but it's much more attractive than for a short uh, term or per, per usage uh, pricing we have also the um, the virtual machines with gpu this is very um, this might be very interesting in case of projects that need some more extensive or more more intensive processing um, for um, mm, mm, like artificial intelligence models and so on. Mm, we have some software ready virtual machines with uh, either art keys for uh, job observation. We have also virtual machines with uh, send uh, for cup the processor for uh, for agriculture uh, solutions. Um, the storage uh, as well per usage or uh, fixed term storage. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And maybe maybe one comment from my side. Uh, at the first side, uh, if you see uh, our offering, it uh, it might seem very complicated, also flavors, uh, but those uh, this offering is based on uh, our experience with uh, with our clients and their needs so um, in the first approach you can uh, you can easily uh, get uh, get our help to uh, because our support also is uh, we are close to support so uh, if you are uh, if you are not familiar you can uh, always ask uh, what can be changed, what can be added, and uh, we're looking forward to provide you some more uh, explanation how uh, how our cloud is uh, uh, organized, and uh, and there are several uh, several possibilities of uh, um, of organize of uh, to organize uh, your processing. Uh, we have uh, bigger machines that can be uh, also uh, divided into smaller uh, small pieces uh, we use a variety of uh, cloud uh, cloud solutions so uh, so we are prepared to to serve a really different uh, project on different scale uh, beginning from the smallest one and uh, through uh, the the big ones. Yes, this is right. And the one also remark on that is that we have uh, our uh, knowledge base, which is very helpful when you want to um, start using the environment and you don't know, you have any question starting from uh, generate case or uh, camping virtual machines and so on and how to create your environment it's all uh, described in our uh, frequently asked questions section so this this knowledge base is also available to you to, to have a look in case of any problems because we understand that it's sometimes uh, not obvious at the first sight how to start using but uh, we are very you know supportive in terms that uh, first of all we are able to help with our our support is, is there to help in case anything is needed and we also most of uh, questions that are coming uh, turn we turn it into the uh, knowledge base okay mm. so let's go back to the presentation mm -hmm. Okay, so here are our, uh, some um, customers and partners we cooperate with. Mm. As Jerzy mentioned, 
Mm, they are both, um, for instance, um, big uh, agencies like Euro European Space Agency, ETMWF, um, European Commission. In terms, we are in ter we are also involved in Horizon 2020 projects, and hopefully we'll be involved in Horizon Europe project as well very soon. Mm. Um, we are collaborating with uh, national space agencies, with uh, but with some universities all over the world, um, with startups and small companies that are not mentioned there maybe, but with uh, big companies as well and corporations. But but we are very, we have a long uh, term relationship with our customers and uh, and we have uh, is very very various. Uh, uh, client portfolio and many of this is related to science. Maybe it's just because uh, we are very strong in this Earth observation area, um, and this is the sector that is, let's say, growing together with us. Um, so there is a lot of lot to be discovered there. So 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 it's like uh, most companies that are working in Earth observation sector are doing R and D. Um, and our, most of projects in this sector are research and development uh, projects. So, so it's something we deal on with on a, on a daily basis. We, we, we just cooperate very closely to to help these ideas to turn into practical and ready uh, products. Yeah, okay. and, and it's uh, it's really also a value for us because uh, being part of uh, such pro projects is. Uh, uh, also interesting uh, to to discover and to uh, to to grow together with uh, to have some some input from uh, from the science uh, part to learn something interesting and uh, and then how to use it uh, uh, use it use it with uh, with solutions that that makes uh, uh, makes life and science easier. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, why uh, why it's important to to uh, to consider uh, choosing the, the the cloud resources for uh, your uh, project? So, first of all, it's uh, um, it's very efficient and uh, and fast in terms of uh, using infrastructure so uh, if you uh, if you plan a project sometimes uh, you need to scale it up uh, for uh, bigger environments and uh, and using cloud uh, is really uh, really simplifies this process and uh, allows you to go on uh, with your project uh, as uh, uh, and follow your um, follow your your development of uh, of uh, this project and allows you to also attach another uh, another ideas that uh, may uh, uh, show up uh, during the um, project uh, development. Uh, cloud is especially. Uh, helpful for processing big data sets because uh, uh, there is basically there is no limit for your uh, processing and data uh, because of uh, because of uh, vast extent of this environment uh, if you are using uh, satellite uh, imagery in your project or uh, or another uh, geotagged data uh, it is uh, it is very very good choice to uh, to use our environment and uh, what is also important uh, we assure uh, easy uh, dissemination of uh, results that you produce so uh, it sometimes is uh, is very uh, very important to have this dissemination and we have experience on uh, both uh, preparing uh, or creating a platform for dissemination or the dissemination itself. We, uh, 
you can you can use our platform to to easily disseminate uh, results among uh, among scientific society and education. Uh, and also, uh, what is particularly important in in uh, in terms of this Okra project, you can uh, you can prepare use cases uh, and show them uh, within within this project. So uh, we will be happy to uh, to support you with uh, with your work and to create such such a use case. Uh, and uh, for uh, as an example of use case, use case, uh, I would like to uh, say a few words about uh, our S2 uh, GLC uh, product. This is uh, this is product that uses Sentinel data, which are freely av available by uh, Copernic services from the data hub. Uh, to produce the um, land cover cl classification for Europe. So, uh, um, in our platform, it is <coughs> um, uh, all the needed data are already downloaded. So, it's a huge amount of data that uh, can be uh, it's ready to, to start the processing. So, um, this data was uh, um, the data was. Uh, processed uh, by uh, within uh, within a uh, few steps a uh, few steps uh, clearing the data and uh, then uh, later uh, processing is it with uh, special processors and uh, after the uh, the processing uh, chain uh, the, the project uh, results was uh, were placed in in our uh, on our platform and uh, they are accessible uh, publicly and uh, you can uh, you can zoom in and uh, you get the classification uh, of uh, land uh, over the area of your interest uh, that can be uh, used for other Mm, other projects uh, or uh, or just uh, used by by uh, clients to to check uh, to, to check the classification itself and uh, they are um, they are publicly available uh, they are made available on our platform uh, so it is uh, also a big uh, data set that we uh, we can disseminate using our uh, platform. Yeah. So basically, just the the, the, the project created by this customer was uh, performed in, entirely on our infrastructure, and then we made it public. And it's you know you can even go now go and see on the uh, Finder or, or or browser that I have presented that it's available there and then it's um, ready to use. And I think we want we wanted to say this because in terms of Ocre when they are when the project intends to show how these uh, cloud resources can be used to to um, to leverage your uh, the lever leverage scientific project this is a very good example that clearly shows okay there was an idea to create this land cover map it was done entirely and then disseminated and it's it's public and it's you, they, there was no need to create some special uh, website or something, some special project uh, web page. It's available publicly and it's uh, uh, used by 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 other, by users. Uh, it can be used from Korea Dias as well. Okay. So, uh, so we, we go to the next point, uh, how we can use it and uh, how much uh, will it cost? So, uh, on our web page, uh, you can find uh, the price list, and what is uh, what is important that it's a simple price list with uh, no egress or ingress fee. Uh, you can download and upload the data. Uh, and uh, as uh, Michal introduced earlier, we we are using uh, two uh, billing models. One is fixed term. Uh, it means 
that if you are planning a project that have uh, uh, well-defined limit, you can choose uh, the fixed term, uh, the fixed term model, and uh, you will be not charge any uh, anything more than you uh, than you planned before, or you can uh, you can use uh, the paper use model uh, for for agile products uh, projects uh, that need some uh, some research and uh, they are not well defined uh, in terms of usage of uh, of computing resources uh, and for the science institutions uh, we have uh, uh, we have a discount uh, 18 and half percent from uh, almost all our, our uh, price list items uh, so uh, so that's a that's a pretty good uh, discount and you can uh, just after webinar you can uh, register on our crowdas page uh, and uh, you can use uh, 100 credits for for free testing uh, so um, i recommend just uh, to to reg register after the webinar to um, to try uh, to try our uh, solution and if you if you have uh, any uh, ideas and questions uh, for for the uh, for the pricing or, uh, or or any other solutions uh, that you would like to discuss we are always uh, open for um, uh, for a meeting uh, to, to learn more about uh, about your project and uh, needs yes it sometimes happened that uh, our uh, offering is uh, being uh, developed based on the requests from our customers so very often it's like you you came with idea or some customer came came with idea uh, that the that they want they want something uh, particular and we are, we, start, we are saying okay we don't have it now but uh, but it's it's on our roadmap we, and we and many products we have developed in this this way that we we clearly we clearly seen the the some demand and the business opportunity there and then and we follow that and it it's uh, it's um, <laughs> I think it's very very uh, very open minded attitude so so we are very open for for any kind of discussion in terms of um, ideas and the needs yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, we have a takeaway messages uh, for you to this uh, from this webinar. Uh, so um, uh, our company uh, offers public, private, and uh, hybrid cloud services. So uh, if you probably for science, it's not not so important, but. Um, it may be of your interest as well. Uh, we are based on uh, own infrastructure and we own the technology stack from the assembling uh, through the uh, through the uh, configuration processing and uh, and support of the client. Uh, we are a fully European company uh, with uh, all the data held inside the Europe uh, under the uh, European law. Uh, with access uh, with direct access to the uh, giant, uh, giant network uh, and we uh, we have experience in uh, in scientific uh, user community cooperation uh, we have uh, we have direct access to to the earth observation data uh, and uh, we have we have also uh, living knowledge base uh, and uh, professional support, and we also and we of course uh, offer a very professional and uh, cutting edge technology in in cloud uh, cloud solutions. Okay, so I think this is it. Oh, here you have the link to the to the Okra again. You can find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, of course. 
you can stay in touch with with uh, us um, here again is our uh, email so you can contact us directly or or through the through the web page mm, so thanks a lot for for coming um, and we are looking to uh, hearing from you thanks for your time and uh, yeah and see you around